It's called the River 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 Walk. River I don't know. It's a great party. It's $5 it's, to get in. It's not a party. It's a fu it's a fair. It's a fair, but there's like 30 bands. It's very retro it's though. Really, it's kind of old fashioned. It's kind of you're steampunk supposed to, and retro. Yeah, you're, so. it's very steampunk. It's a lot of the a lot of the uh, Burning Man people. No, do stuff there. it's way low key. Families go to this. Yeah, but it's she she thinks Burning Man's all about sex. Well, it is, and partying. <laughs> I have friends that go every year. <laughs> well, that's what they go for. Right. But there are a lot of artisans in Petaluma who go who do Burning Man. And they also do this River Town, whatever it's called, River River Town Revival. River Town Revival. There we that's go. That's it. And this I is only its second or third year, but it's a neat event. Anyway, it's going to be 91 degrees, and we want to get out of here and go to that. Yes. So we'll do this week in Twit Now. Oh, okay. You want to? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's go. I guess we're doing this week in Twit Now. Is there another show? Uh, Ham Nation at Six. Ham Nation at Six. Oh, we've got time. We've got an hour and a half. That should be so. plenty of time. We are working on Sebastian Thrun, absolutely. Speedos Featuring are the absolutely raspberry pie. Allowed. Leo's wearing one on Saturday. <laughs> now would be the time. Ozzy, come here. Wanna get up? Come Invite here. mainstream media people to see the cool internet TV station for geeks from the inside. Well, we're really pleased. Tell us about this USA Today thing. They approached us. So, right? yes, USA Today approached us, uh, the people that are updating the TV. They've added a new. So they have that TV well, guide. Hold on, they have a TV guide, and so now they're adding an entire guide for web TV. And the people that are actually updating this love us, so they want to feature us. So I'm sending them our live schedule, and we're going to constantly be in contact with them That's as we great. launch new shows, and they're going to showcase us as much as possible. It's really good news, not just for us, but for uh, IPTV in general. And one of the things, you know, Lisa and I have been talking about this. We really want to position ourselves not as podcasts. I've never liked that name. But I also think podcasts are off-putting, and it's normal people don't even know what it's that is. It's internet TV. I mean, it's internet it's, TV. That's and pretty so much all I, yeah. I've you'll notice I don't, I've never used podcasts. I'm not even using Netcast much anymore. What I, what I call these is we make, we do watch live. And if you don't watch live, we have on-demand versions, just like any television network of all of our shows. Yeah. So we get both. Come on. And I do think that the USA Today doing this is huge. You know, this is a uh, this, here, Ozzy, come here. Well, he's trying to get in my lap, but that's his new place. Come and here, he Ozzie. just stares at us now. He thinks we're going to feed him all the time. Oh. So um, yeah, so I'm I'm excited. They'll just feature us exactly. as much as they can, and so I'm pushing them that Sarah's that's new show exciting. launches on Monday, i five. That's and really great. I really want to showcase all of our new shows and know how it's doing spectacular. Congratulations. Net, yeah, well done, uh, I ask. Netcast, to me, was always a little bit better because Netcast didn't imply downloading even. I mean, a, a broadcast is live, and Netcast could be live. It's just a Netcast is an internet television show. So that's why I liked Netcast, but nobody knows what that is either. Well, we're educating them, so we can yeah. start calling it that if you like exactly. the name. There is a, is there a URL for USA Today's? Uh, uh, you know, should we post that? Can I post that and say, hey, yeah. check us out? Okay. Inside.twit.tv. We'll definitely post it on inside.twit. And I'll tweet it too once okay. I see it. Okay, perfect. And I, as we're going to get a raspberry pie, that'll be a good segment for know-how. Oh, is he getting a pie in the face? Is that what you're doing again? <laughs> you know what? You were watching. I was watching you watch. You know what I'm talking about. Um, I was paying a little attention. We don't have a sponsors page. Why not? We were asked. Well, that's a good question. I think we should. Um, we used again. to have a sponsors page, and we were asked by our ad agency not to have one. And I think that really their sure fear why. was, and I don't have this fear. You know me. I don't. I don't operate out of fear. But their fear was that people would poach our advertisers, um, and they didn't want to have to sell against some other company like CNET, saying, right. "Oh, look at all the people. Who, oh, they buy podcasts. Let's go. Let's go steal them away from Twit." So, um, but I think we could net, we could do that. It's up to you. Uh, you know, I think I might reopen that. People ask me a lot of the times what something yeah, is. because they want to know what our codes are, right? Yeah, I think What's it's that? great to, I'm not really sure. But I think it's great to have our Sorry, current advertisers, their go. link, their product, and, you know, our offer codes and right. what specials are. So right. we can revisit that. And Tech Guy Labs has a, has a link to all the advertisers. That's actually something the radio people sell. So um, oh, that's a good as idea. part of the deal, I wasn't planning on selling it. I yeah. just think it would be a great way as to. As part of the deal, shows. that's what happens. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I can take a look at that. It so. is the same uh, people. Partly that's because Bruce um, Podtrack, who does our app, there's the uh, there's the TV on the website on the uh, USA Today, 
And look, they have quite a bit of us. There's the tech guy, but there's also Tom Merritt. Well, and they'll keep featuring us. They, um, they will continue to add our shows that's as we so add great. them. And to me, what that's, why that's important is because USA Today is aimed at a very non-technical, just mainstream newspaper mm -hmm. reader, mostly older. And the fact that they recognize that internet television is, is a happening thing is huge for this business. Well, I hooked Sponsors my grandpa up with the Roku that. box. So yeah. he's Did you really? He's thrilled. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. We That's totally great. have him set up. I mean, he's That's just, great. He, he loves it. He can watch movies. Right. There's Ozzy. He finally got in your lap. He he's likes Lisa a lot better than he likes day. me. No, he loves you. Mm. Don't do that. So what else have we got coming up? We have our uh, one-year anniversary for our new space. Tuesday, uh, Tuesday July 24th, is the one-year anniversary of moving into the Brick House. Yeah. We'll, uh, on that day, we'll replay the parade and all of that. Dick D. Bartolo will be live in studio. We'll be doing the Giz Whiz. That's right. The Giz Whiz starts on Tuesday. And, and then um, we'll have a sheet Where are you going to do cake. it? Are you guys going to do it up at the table over here? So you I, have have to, a, I don't know. Gadgets? I have to talk to Jason. I think you should. Well, we need a table. I'm thinking maybe of doing it here with a table. We'll figure it out. Okay. Um, and then uh, we'll have a sheet cake. We'll have a little celebration. Little Are you going to have the new format for the show? Have you told people about the new format for the show? We have some of the new format is in place. Dick has been telling people, send us your videos. So okay. we're going to use uh, fewer videos. And you'll be ready. And uh, I believe so. It depends on how many we've gotten. Well, if not, you guys can use right. the little iPad tables here. So I'm excited with that. So Snoopy Mop, I'm trying to use the round table set. Uh, 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 the problem is it's right now it's like the go-to set. Everybody goes there. And I want to kind of not dilute it. We have a lot of sets here. This is a really great flexible space. So we're trying to spread the wealth. And we're actually going to add a set. So right, right behind my head here, and it'll shoot down production alley. We'll have a picture of the clock. It should backdrop. be a nice shot, yeah. And so we're going to add a higher table that'll allow people to stand or sit on uh, stools. Who is that? And was we'll that Frederic waving back there? I'm like back there. Frederic is waving at the back of Production right there. Alley. There you go. <laughs> so Liz, okay, let me give you the the the, the rundown. You see, I as on the right. Liz mm -hmm. is in the middle. She's running the board. That's the technical director position. The the set will be on the other side of that. Then that you see a red blob. That's Chad. And then and you uh, <laughs> see the, the brightest office in the entire studio is mine. Yeah, look at that. She's got all the lights. That's well, the I Liz, need Lisa's light. Say. You do. <laughs> I have to work in and there. And actually, <laughs> the people who work Production Alley will be happy because in order to shoot that, we have to have more lights in there. So they're going to get some more light. I'm really excited about that. We, we actually had lights in Production Alley for the uh, land party. And then I took them out and used them at the No House set. So we are going to we have got, to put lights well, back there. We're going to get some more lights. We need yeah, more it's lights. it's all good. Um, I would love to get Jessica Corbin actually trip 70. We should talk to her. Um, For what? Uh, I don't know. She's, uh, she was a regular host on uh, Tech TV. She's Pat Boone's granddaughter. Oh, fun. She's beautiful, redhead, really smart. Mm -hmm. And uh, she, uh, she started a website called Fempire. <laughs> I like it. And uh, I, I think that that's gone now, so I don't know. Yeah, she should do like a yoga show. Or she, because she's very a fitness. Yoga? Wait, she wait, could no, do a no, fitness no. show. Didn't we just have this whole discussion about I know, we about only have to do tech shows. stuff. I know, I know. I know. <laughs> well, that's what we're going to focus know. on right now. I know. So now that's pretty brightly lit with the uh, PTZ. That's we'll the production have to do something alley. with the, we'll have to turn off the light on the clock. Well, it's the other way around. What you do is you light the foreground more. Correct. Okay. And then you iris down for the foreground. The problem is we're irised way up because the foreground's so dark. So okay. if you iris, if you light the front, then the back gets darker, believe it or not. It's kind of That's weird. Nice. I kind of like the back with the waterfall effect to it. I am on the run from the Yakuza. It's because I have this tattoo. Well, I can't really show you or they'd kill me. Show them. Um... Um, and then uh, what else? Jessica Corbin website. Yep. Um, so an update is, I think we're pretty close with the Tech Eye Labs website. We do plan to roll out a beta on August 1st. I mentioned before Twig, we're having a little weirdness because iOS, iPad treats the, uh, the uh, URLs into YouTube differently, unfortunately, than the desktop. So we got to figure that out. To figure that out, too. IAS did an AMA, and I'm going to do an AMA. Does anybody know what my AMA, AMA is? Glenn's, Glenn set it up. So Glenn Rubenstein, our social director. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Tom Merritt's going to do one. Everyone's going to do an AMA, but I am scheduled for an AMA. Good. 
more Leo equals better shows equals more audience. The problem is there's limited Leo and I don't want to build a Leo station. I want to build a tech station. So um, what we're trying to do is find more hosts, people like Tom and Sarah and I as uh, who are great. Like and, Padre? Uh, Padre. You know what? We have hit a home run with uh, Robert oh, Balliser, Padre SJ. We're very happy with him. It's very happy with our first show on Monday, yeah. so I'm looking forward to the next one. There will be more IAS. AMA stands for Ask Me Anything. It's a feature uh, on uh, Reddit, kind of like the Dig Dialogue, where you get to ask questions. It's a little more informal. You get to ask questions, ask me anything. Right. Uh, you know, I've talked with Sarah for years about doing a This Week in Memes, Blue Fox. That's actually something I wanted Sarah to do, because she's always up on whatever is hot. Um, well, she's going to launch um, I5. I think I5 is going to be great. And then possibly that could be the next one. She's facing herself, too. Yeah, because she's got the Social Hour, iPad Today, I5, and TNT. She does quite a few shows. Now, we're open to remote hosts, if it makes sense. I mean, we have This Week in Law, which is a remote right. show, and uh, Twitch, NSFW. which is typically a remote show. So if it makes sense, we, we will absolutely do that. It's not ideal. I mean, uh, those shows don't do as well as I think they would do if a host were in studio. Possibly. Yeah. It could just be the show. We, I love it that Aaron's been coming in uh, to work with Randall on Floss Weekly because it gives it a, a person here, and I just right. think there's something for it. I think he'll do well at the new set. Yes. We should have that new set done pretty quickly. I would yeah. hope in four it's to five weeks. It's just lights and a table. Well, it's lights, it's a table. we got to make cameras. sure we have um, the right we need to buy internet connection in the floor. So that might be a little bit more work, but I'm guessing four to five weeks. Good. shouldn't take too long. This week's Twill was good. I haven't seen it yet, Osnet. I will watch it, I agree. Well, and we're also working to get that show um, accredited in California. I think the paperwork went out in. Okay. And New York. So hopefully people could start watching This Week in Law for continued education mm -hmm. for you know, obtaining their law degree, and it's going to be a free class, so people don't, I mean, a free show, so people don't have to pay to watch But they get a con our program, continuing get education a credit. credits, which mm -hmm. is really great. Which will be really nice. So Daniel H. asked a great question, when are we going to have more shows that involve the audience? And it's a technical issue more than anything else. You know, one of the reasons well, we have the chat room is so that you can talk back to us. I believe Sarah's new show, I-5, is going to involve the audience more. You guys have with know-how. And Dick DeBartolo for... The weekly daily Gizwiz. What can we change that to the weekly Gizwiz? It's going to be the Gizwiz. The Gizwiz? Oh, when are we changing that? Tuesday. Yay. I guess I should have told you. Yeah, it would be nice. The show is now the Gizwiz. I love that. <laughs> so that's going to involve the audience more, but I agree with that. What would you guys want to see? Well, we were thinking the monthly weekly daily Gizwiz oh, gosh, this year. Please. The annual the monthly Gizwiz. weekly daily Gizwiz? Yes. No new shows on the That's round table. That's not true. You can't say no that. No new And we're not doing the Gizwiz over there. Yeah. You know what? Absolutely we not. might... No Gizwiz on the round table. No. I was thinking of uh, the No House set. <laughs> well, you actually. can't say we're not going to ever do a new show at the round table. That's well, we prefer not, not to. We want to... Yeah, you're right. Because, I mean, as we get more shows, we're going to have to... Every set, there's we're five have to sets. Look at the sets. Every set should have six or seven shows on it. it but the problem is that Twit, MacBreak Weekly, This Week in Google, All About Android, the round table shows kind of. I don't want them to get diluted. I want when you yeah. tune in, you know what's going on. Well, I love this set, set up, and I wish we could use know, this set more, to but, be honest. No, this set's really good, too, but if people need like a round table area that's got a nice they need the camera demo shot, area. we just need to get, yeah. we have to set up a couple more I sets, agree. and I think we'll be fine. Nickname, I do take calls. I take calls on the Tech Guys show. Uh, which he does is not take calls here at six Guys. hours a week right. of taking calls. So we do, but I know what you're saying. Um, and, you know, remember we played with on the air, uh, uh, we're playing with different technologies. Um, it's, a tr it's, it's tricky. Um, I agree, Daniel. I would love to get a call-in show with the audience. Um, it's, a te it's technically difficult, that's all. Because when we, you know, we tried it, for, I mean, it was day one, I tried it. And uh, with Skype, and it just overwhelmed Skype. So it requires, I've been kind of waiting for the technology, somebody to come along with the, for the technology that would let us do something more interactive. I agree with you, it should be more interactive. Oh, well, we can consider that, add it to our show list. Mm -hmm. What else do we have to tell And we about? may start using TNT a little bit, the TNT set with some reconfiguration. Yeah, we haven't told them yet, but we might. <laughs> <laughs> I might go, hey, there's nobody there after a certain time of day, maybe we can use that set. I would really like it with a brick backdrop and. Yeah. Well, the it's okay, I can move you. I can move you. 
We'll just roll. All those, all those tables are on wheels. I think I hear someone squawking about an assigned desk. Is? Don't worry. We'll, we'll make sure you have a place to go. The echo during the bench. tech guy is a well-known uh, issue. You can find out more at our wiki. In fact, I encourage you to visit yeah. wiki.twit.tv. <laughs> it's a really useful resource for frequently asked questions. Padre, like you are not going in that. the basement. Although I do like your segments from the basement. No, he's actually going to do a no, basement. No, I know he is. He's going to start doing uh, what things your IT uh, guy says from the server room. I love that. Yeah. No, that's It's a little great. noisy down there. But no, I'm not putting you down there. I want you I want to do more Twitter integration. I agree. Well, you can see the basement. We can't work in the basement. It's um. We're not allowed down we're there. We're not really allowed to work in the basement. It's structurally not the right height and the but. sprinklers are too low. That's but we why can shoot a segment down we there. We don't pay rent down there. We get what, 6,500 square foot? Well, free? we also don't pay rent down there because they don't have a door in and out of the basement oh. that they could seal off from our space. So they have to, for our safety requirement, oh. have a separate so entrance like and exit. Like a fire exit. door? Well, they have to have a separate entrance and exit or oh. they can't lease out our space. Ah. You had the same issue at the cottage when it was. Right. So it was basically, out. it's not up to code. We do have a weight set now in the basement. Yeah, we got um, so Alex we Lindsay's have... bench and his P90X Those weights. are pretty cool. Isn't that neat? I do like this. Yeah. I like his weight set. It's like one thing that you pop weights in. It's modular. Well, I tried to get Molly to do the Skeptic Atheist show, but she said she was kind of busy with the show. Molly Wood? Is she a skeptic? <laughs> I'm just, I think it would be funny to I think to she's a good Catholic that. girl. Is she? I don't know. I I, have for no some idea. reason, I think so, but maybe that's because Becky is. What about a curtain behind the living room set? No, we don't want a curtain. So, yeah, we like the open space. We want we want you to see what's going on back there. If we're gonna do that, we could just turn it back the way it was going to be and pull down the curtain. We were gonna shoot into the corner like all television studios, and then we realized this is cool. See, see, you know, when when we, we first started sleep. shooting this, we're up all people the would time. say, "I see people walk by. I see those. Like, there, a car just went by. It's like, yeah, it's a we're in a real place. We're in a real studio." On, on Call for Help, when we did it on Tech TV, we had fake trees. And somebody had a string that they pulled to make them. <laughs> I'm not kidding. We had a window on the set with a fake flower pot and a light shining through fake tree leaves. So you'd have tree shadows on it. Oh, and so somebody funny. would once in a while pull the string. This is definitely real this life. This is real. I was trying to hide in my office, and Leo made me come out here in a skirt. <laughs> she, I, Lisa, I had only seen Lisa wear a dress once in like four years. And I've worn them like three days in a row now. And I'm loving it, I gotta say. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, it won't it's be hot. a habit. <laughs> oh. Okay, so what else is coming up that we're doing? Um, I'm trying to think, um, I think we've, we've launched so much. I will get month. Jess, there's a couple people I should get on, Kate Patello, Jessica Corbin, and we'll try to track them down. We, you know, it be fun, oh, maybe for a triangulation, is, that would be great. Let's do a triangulation reunion, Tech TV reunion. Get Kevin Rose, Jessica. Hey, Nicole, I'll, remind me and I'll give you the list of names. Let's do a reunion. Well, I want to do a 24 hour be fun? slumber party and let's have like music well, here. We're going to do that also. Let's have something, you know, maybe a, around the new iPhone release and that we have other people demoing it and we're covering that. What do you think? Yeah. You think something fun like that? Well, I, I think we should know, do that really soon. I had mentioned that. Wouldn't that be fun to do a tech TV reunion? Yeah, yeah. We we had said before Revision Three got sold to Discovery that Revision Three and Twit were going to partner on May 11th because May 11th of next year is the 15th anniversary of the launch of Tech TV, and do something. And we may still do something. I don't think we'll get help from Discovery, but um, but I would like to do uh, a show where we get as many people when they could sit on the floor and stuff and just reminisce. Wouldn't that on be the fun? Floor. It'll be can, a great special. We will special. accommodate them. It'll be a great special. Um, and then so the thing, so uh, we did several times a call for help -a -thon at, on the day after mm -hmm. Christmas. Chris Perillo did it once, I did it once, where uh, we'd do 24 hours and we just help people. And yeah, we'd get oh, in our, that would get be in our great. jammies. After Christmas would be perfect. You know what, you should really do it like on the 23rd as people are setting stuff up for Christmas. Let me ask you, okay, this is a test question. Oh, great. I should have asked you this when I hired you. <laughs> so, so, um, should I be scared? When we remember 
you weren't working for us when we did the 24 hours of iPhone. I just started, I believe, just working started. with you. Yeah. You were like a part-timer. So my idea was at about 7 a.m. to have a barber come in and cut my hair <laughs> while I'm talking. I'd have the bib on. He'd cut my hair. Oh, and a shave? And a I'll shave. do it. Can I do it? Yeah. Okay. See, that's I'm the right so answer. I'm shaving him. The answer, Dane says, no, no, no. No, that'd be fun. That's the right answer. Thank you. But I get to cut your hair, too. You, <laughs> you can trim my bangs. You can shave my legs. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, no. Chris Kosach, Stacey Barcelata. She's in uh, Italy now. Be fun to get the, some of those people. What was your first computer, Lisa? Oh, my first computer, I think it was 18. I think it was a PC. It was an IBM. She still loves Windows. Uh, it was one of the first, it was like a $6,000 computer. My boss was a huge nerd, and he ordered us all computers when they came out. Oh, wow. And I remember it See, had like four 18. megahertz. The, the speed was ridiculously slow. You'd open something, and you would like make a call and do a few things, and it would finally you open. You know what? When you were 18, that was the first IBM PCs. I it was the you, first IBM I PC. You, that's what he it got was the you. first they were, they IBM were very PC. Expensive. Yeah, it was super expensive. So wow. yes, I worked for. I have been working in the <laughs> for the first IBM PC. Oh yeah, was he was it totally. He was a huge geek. And, and so what, were I had, you, what was your job? What were you doing? Oh, I was working part time at an insurance office. I was their office manager. Um, pretty much, they let when me run the place. When I was 18, place. I was a busboy at Denny's. No, by 18, by 20, I was like an assistant controller at a company. Uh, I ran this place for a couple of years. But yeah, first IBM PC. Doctor Mom said I should jump up and down. If it's gas, it will the bubble will rise. You know, Dr. Mom, I'm telling you, it's sympathy pains with me because I've had so much She's work. been in pain lately. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm wearing a dress. Um, yeah. I ran a BBS out of my closet with uh, uh, early Eagle PCs or IBM PC clones. I don't think we're sending anyone to Atlanta for Dragon Con this year, but I mm -hmm. believe Tom's going to go. Tom Probably went to Comic-Con. That's right. I think Chad's going. I'd I love to go. It'd be fun Friday. just to be there. So this is a good show idea. Shave legs with Leo, where Leo shaves the legs of all female Twit staff at 7 a.m. I don't. He he's okay, but he thinks he's shaving like a his face or something. He's got to be gentle with legs. So he has to learn first. He has to practice on Aussie, and if he gets that down, he could shave my leg. My dad had a Just computer without a hard here. drive. Two five and a half inch, uh, five and a quarter inch floppies. That's right. I'm almost caught that's up on right. Breaking Bad. I'm on season four. How do they know about that? I don't know. I think that's strange. I was being asked that. Were you talking about me watching Breaking Bad? I must have been. Yeah, I watched like a whole season. Because I was talking about Marissa I took, Meyer. I took a few days off. Marissa Meyer, her last tweet before she got hired at Yahoo, which was a few, a few months before then, her last tweet was, I'm going to watch Breaking Bad an episode a night so I can catch up. You mentioned it. That's why they knew. All right. Of course he did. I mean, he had to have. We haven't caught up yet, though. Nobody wants personal grooming. Don't worry. That's. Oh, I was kidding. It was a joke. Totally a joke. But I, I will shave you if you want to do the shave and a haircut thing as a joke. That would be hilarious. We'll, we'll make a skin. And I have a sexy nurse who will come in and take my blood pressure every hour. That's for the help of You do? Yeah. Who? Um, uh, uh, Jennifer's friend, uh, uh, um, Michelle. Remember her? Remember Michelle? She's a nurse. She has the sexy nurse costume with like the really high pointy cool. hat. And she'll come and she'll take my vitals every hour to make sure I'm not dying. Oh Isn't that a gosh. good gimmick? That's hilarious. When she comes in, she's... Uh, anyway. They'll enjoy it. Maybe. I don't know. Martin Sargent is a registered nurse. Is that true? Oh, I love that. That would be hilarious if he comes in. So it could be a sexy nurse for the first few hours and then it turns into Martin Sargent. Only if we and have... I could go, wow, I'm more tired nurses. than I thought. <laughs> that would be funny. This has really gone downhill. So... Uh, it really has. <laughs> yeah, my reaction. I'm wow. Like, yeah, I don't know. You, you. I'm so tired. You look like Martin Sargent. <laughs> uh, this is bad. Okay, so what? Let's get serious. What else is happening at our network? That's Padre's. Fun? Padre S J says I'm probably in our in our all Filipinos registered nurses. Oh my gosh, Padre, that's hilarious. What are we doing for the 24th, Leo? Sheet the, cake. So what are we doing on the 24th? Sheet cake. You know what? After you guys are done. What do we end you want on the a live band? We have a live band? All right, a live band. We're having a live band. We have a live band. And uh, sheet cake. 
We should and, do a quick uh, uh, cake Bartolo cutting here. here. We'll do a cake cutting. Yeah, we should do, we should do a quick this week in Twit on Tuesday and call it a day. Oh, he's yeah. fine. I'm telling you, it's sympathy pains. <sighs> really? Sprint has decided not to charge their customers for FaceTime over cellular. AT&T is still undecided. Jennifer London. I'm on, on, on Facebook. I'm friends with all these people. So, Leo. Yes. Uh, the Jeff. store is so actually we going well. We have a live band on the 24th. We Yay. actually have a live yeah, band. NSFW is doing their summer music series. And okay. I'll sit down, so they have a summer sit music down. series? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the Get That's Set the Go. That's the funniest thing I ever heard of. Is it Get Set Go? Get, get Set, Set Go. Go? I They're love them. Back. It's not OK Go. Oh. It's no, Get Set Go. Get Set Go. It's, that's the, two, the, the man the and the woman? Two people. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They were here. Yeah, they, they were here yeah. once before. Yeah. 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 So, um, Get Set Go will be yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, OK. Yeah. So they're actually going to be here on the 24th uh, for NSFW. But you were saying about like a. A sheet cake. Sleepover? Yeah, that, oh, we're, we're, we're going to do a, a, a marathon. Okay. Not not next week. So I'm fleshing it out, but it'll be maybe like the oh, day after the Christmas. No, this isn't next week. Don't worry. Oh, I will okay, not okay. panic, I was like, Chad. <laughs> I was like, Do Chad's I start hair about? just got a little brighter <laughs> and his eyes got a little bigger. But here's a couple of features. No, so we'll be taking we calls the whole time. Mm -hmm. um, once an hour, a, a sexy nurse will come out and take my blood pressure. This right. is his um, dream. Uh, at some point, probably seven I'm in the morning, shave his face and Lisa will come as right. a barber and right. shave me and cut. Trim, right. keep me, clean me up. Um, Martin Sargent will appear at some point. Um, so that, that's what we do on these helpathons. You have gags and bits. We're right. getting jammy time is like 11 p.m. Everybody gets on their onesies. You know. They're, the they're calling for a Brazilian for you. Is that okay? <laughs> I'm kidding. I didn't say it. I just read it. Um, Hold your microphone closer to you. Really whining. closer? There you go. I'm really not that loud enough. No. Um, now I would be fine at that distance, but I thought, yeah, I thought I was, I thought no. I was blowing it out. So no, it'll be what fun. I think we should take calls. We can have we a pillow have fight. To... Yeah. Oh. Don't whack me right now, you guys. <laughs> Careful. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking that we should get bunk beds <laughs> and put them, put them in the, in a set. We could hot bunk hot beds. Bunk. We could hot bunk. Yeah, we get bunk beds. Everybody gets set. Uh, I when think an we need hours. more. When engineers bean tire, bags. they go to bed. Did you see? So or I'm complaining bags. about the stitch in my side. I think it's. I'm not sure if it's gas or whatever. Uh, before Twig, and uh, and pain. and Chad and Chad you. says, "Oh, don't worry, I have a Pepsi." I have some Pepsi in my AC. Right. Every person in this building comes something. with their bottle of Tums. I don't do Tums. Am I giving I people either. acid reflux disease? Always. You always. How come do. you all have antacids? Because we're, they work we with all, you. We all think that we're young and we can take it. But I could eat another they, pepper. Yeah. Oy, the, hey, the give me another bratwurst with sauerkraut and peppers. We work in an open studio. It's small spaces, so they all have Tums for after lunch. I cause GERD. No. <laughs> it's totally Leo. But notice I you don't You can buy either. these pillows. Throw, throwboy.com. He makes them. And you know, I didn't realize this. I feel kind of bad. He's at Throwboy on Twitter. He actually makes them himself. Hand makes them. Yeah, he sews yeah. them himself. Yeah, you can't get these. These are not. These are not no. somebody in some no. slave labor in China. Same thing with the. I know. No. Same thing I know. with the hats. Oh yeah, I'm. Same the thing with the fez. He makes them himself yeah. too. Just yeah. like this, we make our own. This is handmade media, artisanal media. I think most people moved in here with thumbs in there. Oh, because of the drawer. move. It's just kind of what happens. Dan is going to come visit us. Dan Hendricks. Oh, we'll yay. do a This Week in Twit with Dan Hendricks, and he can explain the chat room rules. And don't worry. We'll protect you, Dan. <laughs> it's okay. Um, uh, all right. So what else do we have? I, I think that's good for now. I'm working on Leah's variety show. Hopefully Judge Richard Posner with me and Denise Howell and Nilay Patel. It's a good idea for a show. I like it. This Week in the Cloud. Isn't that what Twig is? <laughs> Okay. What else have we got? Anything else? How's the Twit store doing? Twit.spreadshirt.com. Uh, our Twit store is doing very well. Do we have a nice polo shirt for uh, our chat room? For who? Somebody in the chat room wants a nice. He says, I just want I, a simple polo shirt. Oh, you shirt. want a polo shirt? Okay, I can take a look. They can do that, oh, when uh, Glenn gets back, we'll yeah. take a look at polo shirts. Has Glenn been on vacation? Oh. I haven't seen him in, in an oh. ages. Oh, yeah, I think he's on vacation. Oh. Um, he, I, I disappeared, so he just kind of disappeared too. Right. So, um, what. 
What happened, is, so we'll look at polo shirts, I'll get that, and yes, we're, we're selling plenty of, of items. We're gonna have a few new graphics put in, but what we would like to do, and I have to set this all up still, so hopefully next week we'll make an announcement when it works, but I would like the fans and everybody in the chat room to send us their designs, and if we pick your design, then we'll put it in the Twit store and we're able to use it, but we'll also send you, you know, your own shirt and your own sweatshirt. We'll send you a few pieces. That's a good and, idea. And uh, we'll have some kind of contest, some kind of winner for that. I'm not really sure what we can do. I have to check on that first. But wouldn't that be fun? Yeah, so then, then what, what would the design look like? Design. A logo for a t-shirt or It's got to go on what? a t-shirt. It's got to be able to go on all of our products. Okay. So, so you know, we we'll, currently we'll do the Twit logo, out. but you could do logos for shows or, yeah, you know, I think it could be, be my face. Lisa's legs, you know, just something. <laughs> Not my legs. You want people to buy the shirts. Yes. Uh, so it could be about a show. We're also going to start working on getting out some of our shows, have some artwork for like TNT and know how. And We could possibly have Twit branded Fufu Zellas for the Olympics. That sounds fantastic. Tomorrow we're going to do iPad Today. We'll be all about Olympics. We'll have Olympics apps and stuff. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah. What are you guys doing on Know How? What are we doing on Know How, I ask? Routers. 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 Oh, yeah. So we're trying to be topical. So uh, you know there was that big story with uh, Cisco Linksys Cloud Connect where Cisco uh, took three of its routers and without asking the owners, oh, a Skype um, sure. this is an E3200, without asking their owners, they just updated them. And when they updated them, they locked you out of your router. You could what? only get back in if you signed up for Cisco's Cloud Connect service, and the terms of service for Cloud Connect said things like, you won't use your router for pornography. What? You won't, yes, and we have the right to see what hardware is on your system, what software you run. I mean, it was, it was egregious. It was amazing. Really? So, yeah, so what we decided to do wow. is respond by showing you how to take your crappy Linksys router and put DDWRT on it, so you never have to worry about them uploading and modifying your firmware but without your permission. Why did they have the right to do that? That's a very good question. And I don't uh, think that's legal. Uh, it seems like you own the router. They shouldn't be able to push an update to you, but it does no. It does happen uh, with uh, computers all the time. I don't mind if an update's pushed, but they shouldn't be spyware locking, locking you, you out. locking you out. Locking you out. Telling me I can't watch porn. I agree. I mean, it, was, really? it was appalling. Wow. And, uh, so what actually, do they do if you watch porn? They lock out the porn websites? They you know, parental it controls? wasn't that. It was really, what it really was, <laughs> was the lawyers saying, well, if you're going to have a Cloud Connect service and traffic's going to be going through the Cisco systems, you have to have terms of service that keeps us from getting in trouble. I, I can't see any attorney saying they could block that. I mean... Well, it was boneheaded. It's ridiculous. It was an opt-in deshale in the sense that if you wanted to administer your router, you had to have a Cloud Connect account. So it really was an opt-in, mm -hmm. and it was pushed on you. Right, I don't like so that. So basically, um, now later they changed it, and you could turn it off. Um, but it was just boneheaded. It was really kind of strange. Somebody made a mistake. Yeah. I think that Somebody was an accident. Somebody made a big mistake. Um, Very cool. Right. So, okay. Anyway, we're, uh, we put DDWRT on this, and we'll show you how you could do the same. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's, so, I'm loving know-how. This is the kind of stuff we should have always been doing, but we just, I mean, it's just so now great. You're doing now it. we have IAS. Now it's we're really doing great. it. It's really great. It's really great. Thank you. So, so the only, I, I don't know, is there anything else? Okay, so how about a show where we're in a park, and everyone's in a circle around me, and we all have cameras around your head. What is it about? And I'm on a spinning platform, and when I somebody talks, the platform spins, and I aim the camera at you off from my head. Wait, what? <laughs> Sounds like that 70s show somebody's when they been, were getting high in the basement. Yeah, somebody's been doing a little happy weed. Really? Yeah. This week in accessibility, you know, I think it's kind of limited, Byron. I haven't um, heard this week possibly. I don't think it's a weekly show, not for us, but there are play. I mean, you could do it yourself. You could do it yourself. We tried it. We're trying. <laughs> <laughs> you did you roll your eyes? Did he actually rolled his she eyes. She thinks I roll my eyes all the week. time. I no, do not roll twice. my eyes. Uh, you do not need to. There, that's nice. I'm kidding. You do not need to call uh, if you want to visit. We have an open studio most of the time. 
but it's probably advisable to email my sister Eva at twit.tv. We're actually, have we set up tickets at twit.tv yet? We're going to set I, up tickets It's on my at list of things TV. to do. I took a, I took a week off. And so you, yeah, so you, it's easy to remember. But the idea is mm -hmm. so that we can keep track of, you know, how many people we're expecting. It's only it's so a problem. so nice that we can set things up, too. Yeah, we, we have set chairs, up chairs ready, exactly. and people can just show up. Um, and that I'm going to be here, that we're actually doing a show. For instance, um, in my office, there's really only seats for five or six people. So if more than that respond, Eva will say, well... You can come, but you're not going to be able to sit in my in the studio. Mm -hmm. uh, for Twit, we have you know in in this studio we have room for 50 or 60 people, so we rarely run out of room. But. People are asking about us the designs for the Twit yeah. store, but I, I still have to set it up. I kind of wanted to do a contest, but if you want to send us something now and if we like it and we can use it, we'll you give us permission. Um, sure, send it to uh, Lisa at Twit.tv. I'll take a look at it. May have just opened up. <laughs> Yeah, we have a lot of good show ideas. I think the startup Shark Tank we wanted to do with for Twig, I think that's a great right. idea. Um, a, X2, make it, um, if you can, vector graphics. Vector or graphics. I was going to say vector files. Some, something we can blow up as big as possible. Vector is the, the best. best. Yeah. That's definitely what I'll need. Will and Twit ever have a CC for all its shows? What does that mean? What do you mean, a carbon copy? CC. Creative yeah, commons? all our shows are creative They're commons. They're all creative commons. Closed caption. Ah, oh, that's I know. Very CC expensive. means a lot of things. <laughs> so when you see uh, shows, they're very frequently they'll say captioning provided by because it's really expensive. It's not something we can do affordably, especially our shows. You know, it's it's a lot cheaper to do it machine captioning, but our shows no machine could capture because it's so technical and the terms are so weird. So we really need humans to do it, and that's extremely expensive. We just can't afford it. It's funny because iTunes mentioned that to me on our last call, and I said, "Well, I'd you know, I, I'd be happy to see they they have a few connections. They're going to get back to okay. me with well, we'll what they recommend. It. I'll take a look at it. Um, they just broke into the market in China. They're showcasing our shows there. So when we saw our Asian numbers going up they, in, why, in Asia, yeah. it was because Couldn't of that. Couldn't figure it out. All of a sudden, there's all these Chinese viewers. And it's fine. Um, I just didn't know that right. things like that were happening. So we'll take a look at that." And we have, um, I'm probably by the end of this week, I'll have probably three new salespeople on my team. So. Really? Yeah. I, I think I've hired two of them. Um, I, I have to tell you this, though. I haven't given you an update. This Can is what I happens when I just show back at work. I guess it doesn't matter if I meet them. Uh, you, you need to. I mean, that's part of me closing but it doesn't, the deal. I mean, that's your, that's your uh, arena. I don't, what would I say? I mean, uh, well, I don't, you, you know what a salesperson is. You good. would need to, I, I would like you to get on a conversation once I, Unless I meet one people. of them and go, oh my God, that's my arch enemy. Well, if you say that, then we won't consider it. No. But yeah, we're starting to, we've done uh, two more deals in house and, and sales is really starting to take off. And I definitely am looking for help on that. So I've been talking with a couple of people and I think that's I'll exciting. have three identified by the end of the week. You'll meet them all and then we'll move forward. So, so it wasn't a surprise for you. I just want no, to, I know you still have to meet them. We um, are kind of on a, a multi pronged approach toward. Um, making show that sure that every show we launch has the best shot. You know, I feel right. bad uh, that some of our shows haven't gotten much traction mm -hmm. and haven't gotten any advertising, so we can't afford to do them. And you know, we've had recently some you know spectacular uh, flops like Game On and Twit Photo, where I just breaks my heart. I feel like these are very very good shows, but in order to keep them on the air, they have to be you have to at least break even. So um, what we're trying to do is. Uh, beef up our marketing. You've probably started to see promos for shows. Love We're the promos. Much more of that. Right. Uh, we've got uh, Glenn Rubenstein in house. He's going to be doing a lot more social media, social marketing. Really try to get the word out. We've paid a lot of attention in our web designs going forward to improve shareability of content, so it makes it easier for you to tell your friends about a particular thing that happened. And then finally, uh, uh, we're building an in-house sales team. Because, uh, you know, even if you get numbers, even if people know about the show, if you can't sell it, you still can't make money at it. So we want to bring the numbers up. We want to launch shows that you really want. And I think I've got a better handle of what people are looking for. Mm -hmm. And then finally, what we want to do is, is uh, have a crack sales team out there doing their best to get advertisers on the shows. You know, I think the reason, for instance, Twit Photo was hard to sell, it partly was the numbers, but mostly it was in that category. Those people aren't buying 
new media ads. They're buying mag. It's same thing with right. Ham Nation. They're buying magazine ads. And so what Podtrack has done so well for many, many years is education, is, is, mm -hmm. is moving industries and companies along so that they get the idea and they're willing to take a chance with, you know, look at this well, is independent internet with, only media. It's not something they're typically advertise on. With an inside sales team, I'm able to go after a, a few job. of the smaller exactly. um, niche shows that right. are smaller buys, which is not right. something I want to do too much of, but I'm finding it's working for some of our smaller shows. Right. So that's what this inside sales team is going to allow me to do. So we're going to test some new things and we're also looking at changing some of our structure about sales and advertising and, and what could be sold. Um, we talked to b &H and Adorama and yes. they just don't have budgets for this stuff. Yeah. B&H completely, that was off the table, and Adorama was, was chewing on it. But it takes a little while to close a deal. Uh, I, I should finally... also emphasize that because you see somebody advertising on, say, Scott Kelby's shows, mm -hmm. does not mean that they are advertising. Often that's trade for a product. We had a very big company said, yeah, we'd love to advertise. All we'll do is we'll give you some product. No, we can't. This is a business. <laughs> I can't run a business on trade. So, um, and it's just, it's an education process. Once people advertise on Twit, they get it and it works for them. Right. Um, but we have to get them to the point where um, they and And it takes a while. Get that. I'm, I'm I just closed a deal that I started working on in February. So right. it doesn't just always happen overnight, but it is, it, it's starting to have traction and we're going to bring in the right people to help us keep that traction going right. and that's the whole idea of diversifying the sales base and we're expensive I and mean, that's another thing is we're much more expensive than a lot of other new media we're more expensive than radio yeah i yes and no we have a some of our shows have a smaller audience and it's right. what their product we could be less expensive, so right. frankly i don't think it's completely more expensive uh, i've changed a few of our minimums i've changed some of our pricing so it depends on the show and it depends on the audience reach of what they're trying to right accomplish so it's some of it's really uh does this work so it's taking them and taking it to the next education. level a lot of education it you know uh, we've got our first advertisers on ham nation i think yeah we signed um glenn closed his first deal so we have a an advertiser just for ham nation that's going to start in a couple of weeks i have to get all and, the details and, out. and that was a challenge because that show uh you know those those companies are buying ads and ham magazines for mm -hmm. you know 500 bucks a right. thousand bucks and so um it's we got to educate them. We got to explain to them, and, and and we still do new tech mentions. And you'll see there's a new updated ad on our homepage for new tech. They're our partner with TriCaster, so absolutely. And I'm in discussions with them as to um, possibly doing something here in the next few months. Hey John, what's the status with recording eight hours and replay? You know the idea of recording everything in a chunk and just playing it back. Is that, that had better be behind automating my feeds. <laughs> Right. So we're kind of doing that now. We're having trouble finding something that will just do it with a f with eight hours. Uh, Ham Nation numbers are about oh nine thousand viewers, so it's a smaller audience nine ten. The advertiser's Icom. Yeah, Icom is our new advertiser. And we love ICOM. As you know, I have a ton of ICOM Yeah, we have an ICOM gear. banner We're really, back. really, really happy uh, it's that the uh, behind we've been All of Banner Android is doing very, very well. Floss numbers are, are high, too. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, Floss, Floss we almost well. do as a pro bono. Like, Twilla, uh, Floss is, you know, I, I believe in open source and we've got to do it. But it actually gets really good numbers. It does fine. It's better numbers it's than Twit Photo. I mean, it's, it, it actually does pretty well. Radio Station is live, yeah. Oh, you mean my ham station? No, it's not live. We don't have an antenna. The antenna is a big issue. We need it's like a noisy. 200 foot antenna. Zzz, all this RF is coming up from here. <laughs> what is Floss? It was like 25, 27? 25, somewhere around there. Really remarkably good numbers. It, Randall's it's doing always a great been job. solid. Um, we, we have, you know, I, I don't always like to just throw numbers out. Those are just our download numbers. They don't include like YouTube or right. live viewership. So, right. you know, everything we say is a very conservative number. They don't um, want to know numbers. I think uh, Twert had a very, very small audience. It was very narrow. It had less than 2,000. It was like 1,500 yeah. Yeah. was the average audience. Much smaller than Hammer Nation. But you know what I really like is I think there's segments from those shows that we're going to bring back in Leo's Variety Hour show that we're going to set up. 
He's he's scared. <laughs> That's coming next. We uh, want to hey, do a. We really do want to do. These three shows are launched come September October. I'm gonna launch that. The uh -oh. Variety Hour no is a chance for us to do things like Catherine Hall talking mm -hmm. about photography. And that twerk and we, bring those and people twerk, back. That we don't want to do a whole show, but just have them come in. And some of it's going to be silly stuff, uh, like Alex Lindsay wants to do a bartending show, stuff like that. We'll bring some fun pieces to it, but right. it'll, it'll mostly be... Tech. Mostly tech. It'll be tech. like the screensavers, basically. It's That's what I consider the screensavers, a variety show. Yes, so that's we'll have what Bert back. Um, it would give us a chance to have Bert on on a regular basis. And like we that. should have Kirk for other shows, too. I mean, he. if you ever want to bring him in on a show, we can. Right. OMG is, Chad is doing OM, OMG Craft. Do you have a steady date for that? He's going to do it tonight. So tonight after yeah. PC Purr, tune Yay. in. Uh, it's Chad. He, he's so cute. He came to me and he said, I want to just get on. I just want to do something so I can get some more on-air time and get some more experience. And I think he's that's so it. great. I, awesome. I really, I think Chad is a real Can talent, I put that on so. the live calendar if he does it every week? Yeah. It's okay. on the calendar. It's only on the TV. It wasn't on the live calendar. Oh. Can I put it on there as a live show? Yeah, I can do it right now. Thank you. <laughs> He's, uh, Chad says, yes, I'll do He's that. He's like, yay. Well, I meant to ask that you that, though. so I just thought I'd do it on air. No pressure. Uh, I don't have access to live calendar. <laughs> uh, I'll get, uh, you should. You're a producer. You I'll should. Sure you we'll give it. you, uh, I'll don't add worry. you. I'll add him right now. What, what email do you want to use, Chad? Uh, the, the, uh, Company email? The one it's shared with, right? Yeah, company, Okay. Company. It would be funny to do. It would be funny to do Dignation again. Dignation. But you know what? It'd just be quiet. Today, the big story is on Dignation. Let's have a drink. The new format from Before You Buy. Oh, I could do that. I'll show volunteer with you. for that That'd part. Be fun. I'm totally in. Liz and I'll do that show with you. Yeah, buddy. Crickets. <laughs> Today, oh, you know what? Let's get Alex and Alex, Alex Albrecht and uh, Kevin and just one day She's, and have them come and, and, and pretend to do Dignation. Do Today's top stories on Dig. And then just have some crickets, and they close the laptop, and, and and then they go home. We <laughs> they can have call a beer it Twit and go Nation. Home. We can it'd just be it'd be like a promo. It's just no, a it'd funny be funny. Bit. Have Dig Nation in the back, and then have Twit pasted across it, so that you no, know it's no, Dig. No, 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 no. no. Oh, they sold that. the name. We can't do that. I won't do that. You can't play with the name that hard. That'd be funny. Um, okay, I think we are good for today, guys. Uh, did you enjoy the Before You Buy with the TMZ style ending? I love the Before You Buy. Yeah, that was fun to be able to use the studio. And Next time around. I will be here for that, so I expect you in my office. And I'll give you the gossip. How update. could Dig Nation do shows if there's no dig? Yeah, I don't know. There's I love there's, Darren. There's stuff being updated on their feed. That's just brief. Roger McGuinn, we're working on for Triangulation, you bet. Hmm? Are you gonna? Well, you have never done a review on before you buy. You I want to review so something? I'm so friggin' busy. Yes, I would love to review something, but I want something fun. No, you guys have offered employee me. reviews. Now on before you buy, I'd like to do John Slanina's employee review. They have offered me a like some stupid scanner printer, and I'm like, no, no, yeah, we'll no, get I want you something fun. What do you want? You want to? You want to? Okay, you got the new iPhone. No, Deal. No, no, no. You, guys you want a um, you want just, you want something like a phone? I'll or... take a look the next round that comes in. I've just been so busy that it's like okay. You want me to review? A product? <laughs> um, but no, I'll do it. I'll, I'll I have to. It's been a while. Okay, Ozzy, there's no licking crotches up here. <laughs> um, no, I don't need to review Ozzy. He's in my lap enough. I'd like to review this small dog. Come here. <laughs> See, he won't. He won't come to me. Come here. Come here, Ozzy. We recommend um, sponsors because it's good all the time. This I mean. is a Papillon. Now, the pros on this dog are really large ears, dark eyes, a <laughs> cute look, and a nice demeanor. They also don't eat much, and because they don't eat much, they don't poop much. They also will lick you. The okay, cons, now, I'm a cat person, and I would get this dog. The cons He's on this dog, cool. um, he sheds. So there's dog hair. There's not that much dog hair. Not much. You just have to brush Hardly. him. Hardly. And um, <laughs> he stares at you, which he some people like, some people don't dog. like. He has a really long tail when he's wet. My my son gave him a bath. It was hilarious. It's really cute. He looked like a wet rat. And uh, but no. And then the other negatives are he's he can, like a cat. Sometimes he barks. He's very like, but no, very. Sometimes rarely. he barks. So I give him. He has little man syndrome. 
I, yeah, he has no, little, little dog I'll syndrome. He them. does, actually. He has yeah. exactly what it yeah. is. <laughs> is that he barks at really big dogs. It's like, don't bark at that dog. He'll eat he, you. He's actually really mellow for little dogs. I don't like Look little dogs. Him. Is he mellow? Is this he's a really, mellow dog? He is a mellow, chill dog. No, he actually is pretty cool. I have mostly, I only have had cats my entire life, and I really don't care for dogs, but this I'll take a, this, this one. This is the cat of dogs. So, oh, how much is it? Ooh, you don't no, want to know. Fine. Okay, there's the other con. Very expensive because he's How much do they cost? I think he was $1,000. <gasps> Holy crap. I am no, my cats are like from the But I have papers and everything. Free. He's a purebred. The only thing the breeder said is, <laughs> you have to get him neutered. I don't want to compete with you. She didn't want us to show him. Haven't you met show people that show their yeah, dogs he, and how he, neurotic I they are? I never intended to show him, but she said, you can't show him and you have to have him neutered so you can't breed him yeah, either. Pass. I wouldn't spend um, And we dog. said, fine. But uh, you know what? He is the greatest dog ever. I don't, I'm, you know, usually I have uh, pound dogs, rescue dogs. Um, yeah, but I buy. fell in love with Ozzy when he was a puppy. I couldn't, and so I couldn't resist. He's pretty, I, I like him. He's pretty He's mild, a really sweet but dog. But I wouldn't, I would not have bought him. <laughs> so uh, I would say buy if you can afford it. Yeah, hopefully we're going to have a couple of new, wow, that was a long uh, hopefully we're going to have a couple new shows in September, but I really want to get Leo's Variety show together. Ozzy's about four years old now. I can't wait. It'll he's be not fun. really comfortable, but he is, you know, he's such a good dog that he just... Well, the developing for dummy show is supposed to be part of know-how, so... <laughs> no, we want to do a programming show. That's that one of the be... things I'd like to do. Yeah, that's on our list, um, too. Let's and let's get Kevin, uh, yeah. let's try to get Kevin Rose on uh, Triangulation. That's a good idea. Or yeah. get him back on Twit. You guys should have but him I think he'd be great you on You interviewed him at Le Web. You should he's have him a, on He's now in the mood. He's a little more relaxed. He can talk a little bit more. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah. Oh, Ayaz. Yes. A know-how. Ozzy Cam. No. No? No. How to and put a Ayaz camera a on your pet? And a dog person. No, I don't mean like surgery. I thought he meant, no, no, no. He meant no. a bit too. Like uh, mobile cameras, like wireless cameras, mobile cameras on your dog, and stuff like that. For yeah. what reason? Because it'd be cool. How about you teach people how to put tracking devices on their kids? <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> Joke. You make them take their phone and turn latitude on, and they can never turn it off. <laughs> this week in Daphne. If we could only get Veronica to reprise Daphne. Well, she's here every Tuesday. I know. She Daphne, was here yesterday. Nicely. We kind of snuck a camera through the window and took pictures. I they, saw that. They won't be too happy when they find out about that. Oh, you didn't tell them? Yeah, he died. This happens every night at about <laughs> 7 p.m. <laughs> Don't let him fool you. He looks like that all the time. <laughs> oh. oh, he's very comfortable. Okay. This week in Leo sleeping. Telling you, eight o'clock at night. No. At least. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm so kidding. They don't know I'm like that though, do they? <laughs> That's the problem. I didn't know that you were like that for like four years. I believed everything you said. He still does. You fool me all the time. I just say something and he's like, ah, ah. And he goes, oh, oh. I think we need clone eight. Better go down in the basement. For what? The uh, clone eight. I, okay, I think we're good. Yes. So. All right, everyone. Good to Thank see Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Ham Nation's coming up, at six. Nation's coming up Nation. at six, about 25, 35 minutes from now. Um, so soon to have an advertiser. Woo soon to have an ICOM. When does ICOM in a couple, start? Um, two weeks. Cool. So. Before Thank you, everybody. It's, uh, well, in three weeks, really, because we have to get oh, graphics approved. Yeah. Approve, um, you could kill my mic, uh, Liz. Okay. I have a few things to get approved and over, and they've never done. Uh, I'll Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be going into reruns for a little while, just before we get into Ham Nation. And I just thought, for those of you who don't know Go Set Go, I'd play you a sample of uh, Go Set Go music.
Ready, set, go. And remember, next Tuesday, one year anniversary of the Brick House, very special day. Dick D. Bartolo will be here. Sheet Cake will be here. Live musical guest during NSFW. And they're going to play this song for sure. It's time to go and I'm so depressed And I'm gonna spend the rest of the week in bed Until the next NSFW The show is through and it breaks my heart Cause I just can't bear to be apart from Brian and Justin of NSFW Oh, I'd rather die in a fire then you spend a single moment without Brian Brushwood Oh, I'd rather be dipped in honey and fed to a big ant pile Than do without Justin Robert Young for even a little while Oh, NSFW W.